Hello, I'm Thomas the Tank Engine, and welcome to Science on Sodor. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at electrical circuits, more specifically, nodal analysis. Sounds complicated, I know, but trust me, after this video, I'm sure you'll fully understand it. All aboard for a great adventure! Nodes are also called junctions, just like this one here on my branch line. And as you can see, whatever goes into one part of the node must come out the other. It's the same with voltage and current. Whatever goes in must come out. This allows us to make an equation to help solve the voltages and unknowns in a node. Now we've got an equation in front of us. The first step is to label the nodes and also pick a current direction. It doesn't matter which one, just take a guess, as long as you're consistent when you're solving the question. If you get a sign that's the wrong way around, all that means is you guessed wrong. Look, the first one, VA, is easy. It's been given to us. But what about the voltages at VB? Well, remember what I said about junctions. All of them must add to zero. Therefore, we can create an equation. I1 equals I3 plus I2. Or I1 minus I2 minus I3 equals zero. Look here, I've labeled them in the diagram. Now, we just need to apply our Ohm's law in order to derive some more equations in terms of V. We know this, VB minus VA on R for I1. We know that VB is the one we're looking for, and we know VA is 10, and R between those points is one kilo ohm. Now we just need to repeat it for the next equations. Fantastic, V0 being the ground is a reference node, so therefore we can set everything on that side to zero. We also know I3 is four milliamps because it's connected right to a current source. Now we substitute in our three values for I into our master equation, and we can solve in terms of VB. Look, VB outside of one plus a half equals six, which means that VB, once we solve the equation, equals four volts. We did it. Now we use the same process to solve for VC. So create another equation with the remaining I values. I6 minus I5 minus I4 equals zero. So now we have a look. We already know four milliamps equals I6, same as before. And I4, we can easily create a similar equation, once again knowing that VA equals 10. And we can use our reference node in order to simplify I5, creating another master equation in terms of VC. Now, all we have to do is solve for VC, like you can see here, and you end up with VC equals 13. So look, there's our answer. And that's how you solve a question using nodal analysis. If you get a question that has two unknowns, you can usually solve it using simultaneous equations. But we'll save that for next time. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next week on Science on Sodor.